Another step I need to do here is, remember I raised the height of this road that I created and I was going to run train tracks down to here and I'm going to obviously do that with ramps and I can do it with double ramps and I could just sit here and just mass plant ramps till we get down there or we could use the calculator. So I have to save the game. I've placed, you have to have a ramp place to start off with. This is a new feature that was added recently. So I'm really happy to demonstrate it. I'm going to load my save file in again uh, because I added the ramp. I need that ramp as my starting point. Now I can see the ramp there. And if I zoom in some more, you can see the ramp here. But it also is a bit confusing. And this is where I'm going to teach you another part of the calculator. And that part is along the uh, in the interface here. And I'm going to scroll the window down a little bit too. Along the right hand side at the top and the bottom are sliders. And they are the minimum and maximum height, not of the map, but what you've built inside the map. And um, at the bottom of the screen are the two numbers. So it's starting, something I've built starts at minus 52, and the highest thing I've built goes up to 328 meters. So I know that I want to go at 39 meters. Up here at 327, I've got my ramp here, but I want to just hide these ones below. So you can use a slider on the right to not display items on the screen below that object. So now we have the roads, the roads, the roads, and then the ramp. And the ramp now, this is where it's different. When I was talking about the arrow directions, the arrow direction is pointing to the right. That is the upward sign of the of the uh, ramp uh, going up. Um, I don't want to change, even though I want to go to the west, I don't want to change the direction. What happens here is when I spawn around a double ramp and I select road and go submit, I want a width of one I'm just going to do 255 and my direction is down and this is where it will take down and some things that I will point out here but I won't do is the curvature. You could actually have a curving ramp at 90 degrees or 180 or 25 or whatever that will curve the distance of the length but we're not going to go into that now but I wanted to explain that that's there. If I click submit we've made all of these ramps along here and if I click on the actual hover on so we're about 19 meters here 35 so I may have made more than I need quite a lot more so what I will do is here is about roughly where I want to be 30 meters I'm going to use the tool here the selection tool and I'm going to select all of this here and I'm going to go delete selected items and click submit and it says do you want a doggy bag with your master dismantling and you'll get a nice loot crate next to you. I'm going to say yes, I actually do. Now when I go back to here, there is now a, 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 a crate with that concrete in it that I will pick up when I load the game. And also down below, there is the road. We'll do the opposite with that. So if I bring this down now, and at the top if I bring this down, and see how the ramps are disappearing as I go across here. The ramps are disappearing and the ramps are disappearing to a point where we're going to meet up with roughly here. So I'm going to delete all these ones along here as well. And I'm just going to, you can use the scroll wheel to scroll out. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. And I'm going to delete. And yes, I want a doggy bag. And now I've got most of my ramp done. 
and actually I will download the save game and we'll load it in just to demonstrate what happened. Uh, one thing you will notice is that while I've been sitting here in the game doing nothing, daytime has passed and it's becoming nighttime. However, when I reload the game from my save file, it will be back to exactly the time you're at when you save the game. You're coming back to an exact point of time. And you can see it loading in slowly. But as you can see here, there's our ramp. Exactly what we wanted. And you can see all the road down there is removed. Uh, we've saved ourselves a lot of foundation spamming. And it's as simple as that. We'll uh, come back to the next step of the tutorial as we go.